Where can you build or park a tiny home in Florida is the main question we're gonna be answering in today's video, as well as some of the basic size requirements for a tiny home in a lot of cases, and some of the most tiny home friendly counties currently in Florida where you might want to start looking if you're looking to build or park your tiny home. And before we go any further, I wanna give a quick shout out and thank you to Gina Corbo, who's one of my viewers that commented on my community post that I put up last night. And this video idea directly came from you, Gina, and I'm happy to be making it for you here today. Now let's jump into it. So the first thing that you need to know if you're planning on building or parking a tiny home in the state of Florida is that most likely you're gonna be looking at an empty piece of land that you want to put the tiny home on in most cases. And so the first thing that you need to do is do your due diligence on that piece of property to see if in fact that property is zoned for a tiny home. Because if it's not, it doesn't matter how rural the property is or how in the middle of nowhere it is. If it's not zoned properly to actually put a tiny house on it, it doesn't matter how removed that property is from civilization. If you wanna live off grid, you still can't use it for that, at least legally. And if you're caught, you could get into a big fine situation with your local municipality, and that's just gonna be ugly, and you don't wanna get into that. So the first thing is, you need to make sure that you're doing this legally. And honestly, the best way to do that, especially for most people, because most people are not you know, housing experts or any kind of expert when it comes to figuring these things out, is you should probably hire a land use attorney. And once you have a plan for the type of tiny home you want to build or park, you can actually hire one of these land use attorneys to figure out if a certain area is going to work for your tiny home plans or not. So this is gonna be the first step for most people when it comes to building or parking a tiny home. Now, right off the bat, there are a few areas in Florida that are more friendly to tiny homes than others. And those areas are Sarasota County and Orange County right now. Those are the two big ones here in Florida that it's easier to place a tiny home than a lot of other areas. I'm not saying you can't put a tiny home in any other Florida county, but those are the two right now that basically make it the easiest for you. So if you're looking for the easiest route to putting a tiny home, you might wanna start there first. However, don't write off any other areas in Florida that you might be interested in just because I didn't mention it right here in this video. Just hire that land use attorney to figure out where exactly in that county you can put your tiny home, if at all. Now the next big consideration that you need to keep in mind if you're going to be building a new tiny home or even buying a used one, whatever it might be, is the size of it. Most Florida counties have minimum size requirements. In fact, I'm pretty sure they all do when it comes to the size of home that can be built or parked on any given piece of property. And in most cases, that minimum requirement starts at around 375 square feet. But a lot of other counties, such as Pasco County and Hamilton County and Seminole County, and there are others, they have a minimum size requirement of 700 square feet. So you might be getting into the territory already with those counties that 700 square feet is probably a little bit too big for your tiny house because it's not actually gonna be so tiny anymore. That's something to keep in mind. And I think that if you're going to build a tiny home, you really should take into consideration the size more than anything because the size factor alone is gonna be one of the key factors in determining whether or not you're actually allowed to park or build the tiny home on that given piece of land. Another consideration, is your tiny home going to have wheels or is it gonna be more of a permanent living type of situation placed on a more permanent foundation? This is also crucial in figuring out where you can actually park your tiny home down here in Florida. If you're gonna have wheels on your tiny home, the state of Florida is gonna treat it like an RV. You're going to have to register it, put a license plate on it, and it's going to have to be street legal when it comes to towing. You know, you're gonna to need to have brake lights, a license plate, whatever else they're gonna to require to actually allow you to tow it down the road. So that's the first thing to keep in mind. But besides it being a registered vehicle in the state of Florida, it's also gonna determine where you can park it. Because let's say 
I have a tiny home, it's on wheels, I should be able to park it in a mobile home park with a lot of the other mobile homes, right? Yes and no. A lot of mobile home parks have rules and regulations where your mobile home, even though it's mobile, needs to be planted on a permanent foundation and parked there. And if it's not, if it's gonna be completely mobile, usually you're not gonna be able to stay in any given mobile home park for more than 45 days. So this is great if you're planning on using your tiny home as an RV and just traveling all around the state and parking in different areas. But if you're looking to have more of a permanent residence with your tiny home, then you might wanna think twice about keeping it on wheels because this could totally backfire. If you want to have your tiny home as your permanent residence, you're really gonna to wanna to look at keeping it parked on a permanent foundation on any given piece of land because this is going to make it much easier to qualify as an actual residence and you won't have to be moving it all the time. But then again, it always goes back to the very first step, guys. You need to make sure you hire a land use attorney or do the due diligence yourself with the county. I'm not saying you need to have one. That's just the easy way to get all this figured out sooner rather than later. If you can certainly do all the due diligence on your own, but you must do this before you purchase or lease any plot of land here in Florida in order to know if your tiny home can be parked or built on that property. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a like. It helps YouTube share it with more people who are interested in this content just like you. And if you're looking for a real house, not a tiny house with a pool, then go ahead and check out this video right over here. It's all about the different pool houses available in Florida under $250,000. And I'll see you guys over there.